This is a short video to show you how to get the Moving Man app working. So one way to do it is to go to your Start menu, Programs, look for Science, and within Science there is the FET Simulations. So I'm going to click on that. This opens up and you can play with Sims. And they're in alphabetical order. If we jump to Physics, the moving man is uh, towards the bottom there, so there's the moving man. Click on that app. The other way of doing it is to just within search type in FET moving man and you can actually run it directly from uh, their website as well. So I'm going to jump back to where we had the app opening which is on all of the uh, school laptops. It should work a little bit faster than jumping out to the internet. So if we run it now, it's a Java app. They are in the process of moving them all over to HTML5 so they should uh, start to run on iPads as well. So much Java has started. Just going to run that. And here we have the Moving Man app running. So there's quite a few things we can do here. We can either grab the guy moving him backwards and forwards, and when we're moving him, it'll give you the position. Or you can actually set the position. So if I want him to be moving to two meters, that moves him. If I want him to move with a velocity of one meter per second, uh, that makes him move one meter per second, or if I want him to have an acceleration of one meter per sec meter per second squared, I can do that as well. Now, when he gets to the end, when he gets to the end, he crashes into the brick wall. So I'm just going to do that one again. So he's getting faster and faster and faster, and he's going to crash into there. And I'm going to turn the sound turn the sound off. Okay, you can get rid of the bricks if you'd like to, um, and then he just carries on going forever. So let's get the velocity going, and then off he goes, and you can see his position gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, let's stop with that and move across to the charts. Okay, so now we get three graphs representing the movement of this guy. So we can either move him backwards and forwards, So now so I'm moving him off to the right, which gives me a positive position, and went back to zero, and then went to the left, which is a negative position, then back to zero. While I was doing that, the velocity was increasing, so I had some velocity positive to the right. Um, I then stopped at zero velocity, and then went back the other way, and then slowed down, stopped, and then went back towards zero again. Now the acceleration looks like a bit of a mess because I did it with the mouse so I couldn't consistently change the acceleration. But you can do that with these controls. So I'm just going to reset them all. So if I want to move with a constant velocity of let's say one and a half meters per second, I can change the scale if I want to on the graphs. I'm going to push play. And there he is. He's moved at a constant velocity, and that is shown as a constant change in its in his position. So he's getting further and further away. Each second, he's getting a further distance away. The acceleration is just zero because he's not changing his speed. If I change that to negative one point five. negative 1.5 and push play I can get him to go back to zero and that's where his displacement is going to be zero or his position rather and that's the velocity is negative there's a little change in the acceleration as he stops and turns around okay the other thing we're asked to do is to click on to playback okay so we can play back what we just did so that's that movement, and then gets to the end and moves back. So you can play that back, 
you can stop it but you can also move this grey line backwards and forwards if you wanted to stop and analyze any particular section of um, his movement so I hope that has helped <laughs>